everyone. In this video, we're going to go through the common linked list operation that is deleting a node at the front of the list. So we've been doing a lot of insertions. In fact, we've done three variations of inserting a node. We've done inserting at the front, inserting at the end, which is also known as appending, and inserting in order. All three of those insert member functions use the new keyword to dynamically allocate a node in the heap. So as we go through and start thinking about how to free that memory, how can we delete nodes? Well, we can delete a node at the front, we can delete a node at the end, and we can search for a value in the linked list and delete the node that stores that value. We also need to think about destroying the list. We mustn't forget to do that, right? If when our linked list is deallocated, there are some nodes in the list, we should walk through those nodes and free them one at a time. That way we don't have any memory leaks in our program. All right, so this video is gonna be delete it front. It's pretty straightforward, especially after the last video where we did that somewhat crazy insert in order. So let's draw a picture for kind of this common uh, little link list we've been working with, with three, five, and 12. All right, so we only have work to do if the list is not empty, right? If the list is empty, there's nothing to delete. So we don't really have two cases here. We kind of just have one to test for, and that is making sure there is in fact something to delete. So we do wanna make sure that head is not equal to null. Okay, if head is equal to null, the list is empty, there is nothing to delete. So we wanna make sure that head is not equal to null. Okay, in this case, it's not. So we do have something to delete. So what we need to do is we need to get a reference to the node at the front of the list. So I'm gonna call this node to delete. Node to delete. Okay, I've got to keep the memory address of this node because I'm going to have head now point to head.next in order to flip over or skip over my first node in my list. Okay, if I don't keep the memory address of this node right here, then I'm going to lose it and I'll have a memory leak. Okay, so I'm going to keep track of that guy so that when I skip over it by updating head, I don't lose it. Okay, if I did, in fact, do it the other way around, say, instead of updating head to head.next, I deleted head, then this memory would be deallocated and I would lose this pointer right here. So something to think about. All right, so if I say head is assigned head.next, Okay, that's going to break this link right here. Both head and node to delete are going to be pointing to this node here that stores five. That's okay. What I'm going to do is delete this node by simply writing the code, delete node to delete. And now it's gone and we properly freed the memory that was dynamically allocated to store the value three in this node. Now, what happens if this was the only node in the list? Well, then this guy right here would have been pointing to null, so head would just be pointing to null as it should. All right, let's code this up. So we're gonna do a delete at front. It doesn't need any arguments because we're not searching for a value to delete. We're always just gonna delete that. All right, so first we're gonna to check to make sure there is something in fact to delete. So 
So we'll just do head not equal to null. Make sure there is, in fact, something to delete. If there is, then I'm going to declare that node pointer node to delete, and it's going to get assigned head. Head is going to get updated to skip over that first node. So head gets head next. And now it's time to delete node to delete. All right, that's it. That's our beautiful, small, short, little deleted front. So let's test to make sure it works. So I've commented out the code from previous videos where we were testing out like our append and our insert in order. So we're back to this 3, 5, 12 list. So let me compile this and show it to you. And then we'll call our delete it front. Okay, 3, 5, 12. So now let's do list.delete at front. And then we'll print the list out again and make sure that that three is gone. And it is. So why don't we just copy and paste this a few more times. So this one is going to delete the five. This one's going to delete the 12. The list is now empty and let's just make sure our code doesn't crash. And it doesn't, perfect. All right, so that is our implementation of delete at front. It's a pretty short little function. Uh, next, we're gonna do delete at end. And then next, we're going to just do a generic delete that will accept an integer, a value to search for. If we find that value, we will delete the first occurrence of it. If we don't find that value, then we won't do anything. All right, so stay tuned. That is what is to come.